I've just had my mind blown. AI built me an incredible WordPress plugin, and in a moment I'll show you an awesome demo of it. Then I'll break down step by step how you can do exactly the same, absolutely no coding needed whatsoever. And together we'll go through a simple five step process that lets you create WordPress plugins that are actually useful and unique, all without writing a single line of code. Oh, and if you'd like me to release it for free, drop a yes please in the comments below. Right, here's that demo. Here's what my little plugin does. It adds a new option into the core cover block. So I'm selecting the cover block and you'll see over on the right there, there's a brand new feature called video scrubbing, which I'm gonna turn on here. Now, once I've turned it on, when I go back to the front page of the website here, as I scroll down, can you see how that video plays in time with my mouse movement? It's a really, really beautiful and elegant effect. And as I scroll back up the page, the same thing will happen in reverse. So again, if you want me to release this as a free plugin, just reply in the comments, yes, please. Step one couldn't be simpler. You're just gonna to go to the WordPress Studio site and I'll put the URL in the description and you're gonna download WordPress Studio. Now you've got two options here, download for Mac or download for Windows. Just download that and install it. And then we move on to step two. Step two is also incredibly simple. You're gonna to go to the Cursor website and again, I will put the link to the website in the description below and you're gonna download Cursor. Now Cursor starts free, so you can actually test this out completely for free as you start to use it more than they do have paid accounts. But just start with the free account, download it, and then we move to step three. Next up, open WordPress Studio, and you'll see something like this. You won't see all these sites here, yours will be blank. Then come down here and click Add Site. Give your site a name, and then click this button here, Add Site. That's gonna create that blank website for you. Next up, come down here and you will see this exciting option, Cursor. This is gonna open your website in Cursor. So click on that and it's gonna open Cursor up, but it's gonna open that environment right within Cursor. Over on the left here, you can see all the files of your WordPress website. Over on the right here, this is where you chat to Cursor and tell it what to do. There is one more step before we start actually building the plugin in Cursor, and that is you go to this website here, cursor.directory, and in the search box, you're gonna type WordPress. What this is gonna do is bring back a set of results of WordPress rules. Now we can put these within Cursor and to make Cursor more intelligent. So just copy them here. Once you've copied them, go back to Cursor and open it up, then come over here to the top right and click on settings, and then come down here and click on rules. And then down here, you've got user rules and project rules. We're gonna put these in user rules. These will apply to all our future projects and simply paste all that text in. This is essentially making Cursor fully aware of WordPress coding standards and security standards and all kind of good stuff like that. Now for the really exciting part, we're gonna actually build a small plugin. Before we do, there's a few settings here that it's worth knowing about. The first one is this drop down here. You've got two interesting options, agent and ask. If agent is selected, which it will be by default, it means it's gonna write the code for you. If you don't want it to write the code, but you wanna ask it questions about the best way to do something, just select ask and you can chat to it and it won't actually affect the code. The other option here, I would leave at auto, but if you do wanna get more advanced and as you start to develop things, you can actually change which model you're using. I would just set that to auto. And now we're ready to actually start building our plugin. So the plugin that I'm gonna build is a very simple one today. I'm gonna to say build a plugin that adds a widget to the dashboard that says, hello, Jamie. Just hit return and it'll go off and do its thing. Now go back to WordPress Studio, click on WP Admin to log into your site. Go to plugins, there's my new plugin. I'm gonna activate it. And to test it out, I'm gonna to go to my dashboard. If I scroll down here, and there it is. Within a few seconds, I built this brand new plugin. Now, obviously my plugin is very simple, but you can build very complex plugins using this method. Here's a really great tip. As a final check, install this plugin here and I will put a link to it in the description. This will check your plugin whether it's compatible with WordPress standards and a whole bunch of other cool stuff as well. Just install the plugin and then click on check a plugin. And then down here, just select your plugin. I only have one and I would choose all categories here. Just tick all of these and then click check it. It's gonna go away and test your plugin that Cursor has built for you against those standards. And it's gonna come back with some issues 
and it's gonna list them here. And then what you do is just copy this, and paste it into Cursor, Cursor will fix it, come back here and recheck it. Once you finish your plugin, the final step is to download it and then you can add it to your own site. So from WordPress Studio, come down here and click on Open in Finder. That's gonna open your WordPress files right within your desktop here. And what you're looking for is WP Content. And in here you'll see your little plugin. So just go into the Plugins folder and in here you'll see your plugin. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna go Compress. That turns it into a zip. Just drag it to your desktop. And now you can just upload that to your other site that you're gonna actually use the plugin on and you're ready to go. If you want to make changes to your plugin, which you probably will because it's unlikely that AI will get it right in one hit, you just go back to Cursor and tell the AI what you'd like to change and so on and so on. So I hope you found that useful and it gets you building plugins in no time at all. If you did find it useful, if you can hit the like button, it'd be amazing because it really does make a huge difference in terms of how many people get to see this video. It really, really does. So thank you if you can. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>